Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Some more updates for you tonight. Los Angeles might be the perfect place for Meghan Markle and Prince Harry to raise Archie. When news spread in early March 2020 that Prince Harry and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, had permanently moved to Los Angeles, fans were stunned. The world was still reeling from their resignation from the British royal family, and a move to such a popular and visible city seemed unfathomable. Amid the coronavirus, COVID-19, pandemic, the Sussexes were forced to leave their vacation home on Vancouver Island in Canada in the wee hours of the morning, using their friend Tyler Perry's private jet to take them to their temporary home in Beverly Hills. Since Los Angeles is still under lockdown, the royal couple has been able to do little else but volunteer, chat with family, friends and colleagues on Zoom, and spend quality time with their one-year-old son, Archie Harrison. While some people are questioning the wisdom of their move to Hollywood, one royal expert claims it's an ideal location. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are carving out a new life for themselves in Los Angeles. Though Prince Harry reportedly had some trouble settling into his new life in Los Angeles without the structure of the royal family, it appears that Meghan has never felt so at ease. Now, as Los Angeles slowly begins to open, the pair are thrilled about building their new life on their own terms. Royal expert Elizabeth Holmes told LMT Channel, So much has happened for Meghan and Harry but I'm told by a source very close to them that all the experiences, the challenges, the obstacles of 2019 and 2020 have really made them even closer. One of the things I was told by a friend of the couple's is that they actually are enjoying the slightly slower pace. They are busy and they are doing quite a lot behind the scenes, but you know, this is a couple that tends to operate 100 miles per hour. I think they're enjoying the lockdown and the fact that they've been able to take a bit of a breather. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have had some security issues in Los Angeles. Though they have a large support network of people in Los Angeles, including Meghan's mom, Doria Ragland, Oprah Winfrey Perry, whose home they are currently staying at, and their powerhouse Hollywood team, the Sussexes are still having some major security issues. The duo have reported several incidents of unimaginable levels of press intrusion at their home to the LAPD. The Sussexes have reported drone-related incidents at their home, which they believe are being manned by paparazzi. A source told the Daily Beast. They see these drones coming in at them, and they guess that they are being operated by photographers, but they can't just assume that. Megan received racist death threats at the time of her wedding, so the terror threat is very real for them. Los Angeles might be the ideal place for the Sussexes to raise Archie despite their current drone issues. Los Angeles still might be the ideal place for the duo to raise Archie. They've even reportedly been given tips from singer Adele, who is ultra private about her personal life and just so happens to be their current neighbor. With Meghan's mother in close proximity, and so many other celebrities like Adele, who choose to have more private lives in Los Angeles, the pair will have a network of friends who deeply understand what they are going through. Their resources will be endless. Royal expert Angela Mollard said, Even after lockdown is lifted, they plan to keep Archie away from the cameras. They want him to have an ordinary childhood away from the cameras. We just want to annoy you for three seconds. That is, please click the subscribe button to get more attractive videos from us. Your support is also the motivation for our team to produce better videos with more quality content. And now we do not let you wait any longer. Let's start the story. The Meghan Markle effect on fashion may not be as strong as you think. Meghan. Duchess of Sussex is no longer a senior member of the royal family, but she's still making waves. The mother of one-year-old Archie Harrison is currently 
in Los Angeles with Prince Harry, and it is widely believed that they are planning out their future projects. Meghan has only stepped out in public on rare occasions within the past several months, but when she did, fans were interested in what she was wearing, as always. During her time in the royal family, Meghan's style choices were relentlessly scrutinized, and now that she is an independent agent, her clothing will likely continue to draw interest. Still, there is one fashion house that has definitely not been feeling, the Meghan Markle effect. Meghan Markle is very invested in fashion. Prior to marrying Prince Harry, Meghan was an influential Hollywood actress. She was frequently spotted on the red carpet wearing trendy looks, from daring miniskirts to glamorous dresses. When she married into the royal family in May 2018, Meghan was forced to change up her style in order to fit the slightly more conservative standards of the royal family. Still, she didn't leave her sense of style behind her. Markle's outfits often made headlines, and not always in a positive way. Many tabloids berated Meghan for bucking royal style trends, choosing accessories like dark nail polish, and often favoring stylish pants rather than mid length skirts. Fans loved her originality, however, and the way that she always seemed totally herself. What is the Meghan Markle effect? Over time, Meghan's influence on the world of fashion became known as the Meghan Markle effect. Not only did fans of the Duchess of Sussex want to wear the same types of clothes that she did, but they began spending more time online, hunting down pieces that were similar to hers and information about her favorite clothing brands. For instance, after Markle stepped out for her wedding reception in a classic halter, neck dress, web searches for halter, neck dresses went up 40%. While royal fashion has always had an influence on the economy and on fashion trends, it certainly seemed as though with Meghan, interest reached an entirely new level. Now that she is no longer a working royal, it is likely that her style will undergo yet another shift. Although it is hard to tell if she will end up returning to her daring Hollywood roots, she could decide to take elements from her royal fashion and combine them with updated twists. Even she didn't benefit from the Meghan Markle effect. The fashion industry in general might have experienced a boost from the Meghan Markle effect but this was not the case for iconic fashion house Givenchy. Megan is a huge fan of Givenchy, even choosing one of their designers to create her custom wedding dress and stepping out on several high-profile occasions wearing Givenchy creations. Still, the report claims that while people might have talked a lot about Markle's Givenchy ensembles, they weren't rushing out to buy from the established brand. It doesn't seem as though people weren't inspired by Markle's clothes, rather, they could have been searching for lower, cost alternatives to Markle's designer duds. Many of Markle's fans might love her style, but dropping thousands of dollars on a couture piece of clothing might not be realistic for them. Certainly, the issue doesn't seem to have affected Markle's relationship with the brand. As the report states, she is still very close to one of the fashion house's lead designers. So there you have it, that's all the news on Meghan and Prince Harry situation today. As always, thanks for listening. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and press that notification bell. If you want to be notified of future videos. Thank you. Stop.